This is the first ever no dig smart irrigation system install and you can do it too. This is the most DIY irrigation system you're gonna find out there and it's also gonna be the smartest irrigation system period that's out on the market right now. And what the heck do I have going on that's gonna make it so great? Well, I'm not digging anything and I'm able to have the most accurate irrigation system on the market right now and it's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that and how you guys can do that too. All right, so maybe there's a little bit of digging involved, but it's, that's just getting your head down to the ground and maybe trenching around the patio. But other than that, you're not trenching out in the lawn. You're not running any heavy equipment or companies to come out and dig trenches into your lawn. I will say there's one little side note you should be aware of and that this is a temporary system. Over the winter, I would not recommend keeping one inch or any water lines above ground because they will freeze if you're in a freeze prone area. So this is strictly a temporary fix and what's gonna happen in the fall is I am gonna run some trenches and I'm gonna put, and I am gonna put the same exact system in my ground. It's called the Irrigreen Sprinkler System. Two wires, one connects to your controller and then the other one goes all the way down to your next head. So let's get into the install, how you use the app and we'll talk a little bit more about the specs in a little bit. What you see here is a one inch line. I ran a three quarter inch line off my water line with a backflow preventer and a stop valve. It comes down into here and then I also have a stop valve over here as well. So it's a one inch line. That's what's recommended per specs. And it comes with these little attachments here. They're uh, a flexible, it's a flexible style tubing. They tested a whole bunch of different styles of tubing and this is what they came up with as far as being the best. These connect to your irrigation heads. The 90 goes into your head right here, which this you only do a hand tight. And then this is also a male thread and this will go into your one inch line directly. What's nice about this is you have a lot of play. You can bend this really far without it kinking. So you have a lot of play wherever you want your line to be. And if it was in the ground, again, you can just if this was your main line in the ground, you can swing it to wherever you want your actual head to be, which is pretty nice. What I'm gonna do now is simply take this cap off. We're gonna put some Teflon tape around here and attach it to this tube. Now that that's secure, I'm actually gonna turn on the water and I'm gonna let this flush out the line a little bit because we don't want any debris going in there. Call that old faithful. All right, so we have this. This one does not need Teflon tape because there's a rubber gasket inside of there. So we'll simply just hand tighten this bad boy. There we go. So our irrigation head is hooked up. This comes off of our control panel, which I have mounted inside. This is your main wire. So your main line and then your irrigation head is gonna come with two different wires as well. This one says to the controller. So your red's always gonna go back to your main. And then you have one left over, which this allows you to connect another wire to take you down to the next irrigation head and so on. All you're gonna do is pop this one off. You're gonna pop this one off. And there's a little prong inside, you're gonna turn it line them up and boom, you are done. Now it comes with this little keyhole uh, lock, locking type mechanism. You wanna grab a key or something flat in there. Let me go grab one. So this little mechanism, you just pop out like this. And that comes apart. And it actually has arrows to tell you where you need to go. Then you can take your clamp again clamp that down shut and what that's going to do is a, it's going to make it a watertight system but it's also going to not allow it to, to um, come apart. You can show some extra wire down in there if you want to. Some people use little irrigation housings just to put here that way your wire is not buried but this is how I want my wire to be because I'm gonna daisy chain it down that way. I'm gonna try and make this part really brief but I just want to hit on some of the things that come in the box. Each kit's gonna come with its own set of wire to be able to connect all of your uh, irrigation heads to the main controller. 
and your main controller looks like this. It comes in a waterproof metal box, has a couple little tabs down here. Hey, and it comes with a bunch of instructions. Within it has your different valves, your different timers, and your wiring right here. It's ran off of your wall outlet, so it's plug and play, plug it right in. Uh, you can actually screw that in so it's nice and secure as well. And you just have more wires in here and your other sprinkler heads. All right, so it's been a few days since I was out here installing everything. The camera overheated, it's hot outside. So we do have the system completely installed already. It was super simple. You basically follow the same steps that I did. You run your line, you glue your PVC fittings, you hook up your adapters, and you flush out your line. Then before I set my next head, I actually ran this first head to see how much pressure I had because I wasn't too sure. So when I ran it, the max distance that I was able to get out there was 33.1 feet. It's insane coming from public water, which is about 50 to 55 PSI, and I'm running about five gallons per minute. So I'm shooting off of a one inch line, 33.1 feet, and I'm, I'm stoked about it. I'm gonna recap, show you exactly how I ran this thing, show you where I have each of my head. Then I'm gonna show you the system actually working my lawn, what the stream looks like, how you program it to set your different zones. I'm gonna show you how to program it to be able to go around different obstacles and choose the points where you want it to water and where you don't want it to water. But before I get into all that, I'm gonna give you guys an offer. It's from Green. They're giving you a head completely for free when you buy one head. So that's a saving of, I think, about $1,300 when you buy one. Go online, type in your zip code, map out your lawn or the section that you wanna run an above ground system or even an in ground system and you map out your backyard and it'll show you exactly how many heads you might need. When you go and check out, put in Rooted Lawn Co and it's gonna give you one free head. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's go and get it. So it's an above ground system. So we ran the line along the patio here and you saw me installing this part here. We did a one inch pipe. We did one inch piping. I put one valve here just so I can test this one to see how far the head actually will throw. The, th the head's actually throwing 33 feet, which is awesome. 45 dolphin, we came down, tied into here. And then with our connectors, this goes back to the controller. And this one here is our next lead wire that's gonna daisy chain out. So let's keep on going down this way and see what we have going on. We ran the line all the way down along the patio. We'll cover that back up with mulch. And it'll bring, in, bring us to this point here, which is the second ear green. Each ear green head will actually have a number on it of what zone it's supposed to be. Try and make sure that you do that accordingly. It helps out big time. So I ran a T, I ran it across here and tied into this tubing here. Our wiring is above ground. And we shot back this way and we go all the way back downtown. Here's our number three head. All we did here was we teed off and we ran a line back down into here. And from that tee, we're gonna go all the way back. Don't mind the mess, that's the trash pit. And this is our last head, it's number four. So we took the, so we ran the line back down along here and we brought it to here, number four. Now the difference here with this wire is that it ends. This is where everything ends. There's actually an opportunity that you can hook up other ones or I think you can have up to eight on each zone, but I'm done with four. All right, so this is the Green system. You can see how it has a small little stream here. This is for the close-up stuff. And then you have your top stream right here. And this is for the one that's gonna go as far as possible. This goes out 33.1 feet. It's got some serious pressure coming back from that one inch line. All I'm using to control this is my iPhone, but it does work for an Android as well. And all you can do, oh, there we go. So it goes on to water saving mode because I was being inactive, which is pretty cool. So I can simply change the toggles on the screen here. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. You can see the little blinking line, that's showing where it's watering. So I have all these different points put out and if I click on it, it's gonna send the water over to that section. So let's take another look at it. Here's my zone. It's watering right here. And I can press this button here and it's gonna move the sprinkler over. If I wanna bring this head all the way in, I can do that. And you can watch it come all the way back in. And then say my next point's gonna be over here and it's further out. 
it's going to push itself and go all the way out. So when you have different obstacles, you can program them. That way it can go around them. HVAC units, garden beds, or anything that you might not want to be getting watered, you can adjust it accordingly, and it comes down precise. This is the zone you're looking at right now, and it's the water is hitting six inches from the edge. If I'm going up to this far one, it's going to move itself. It's tracing all the way around this edge, and then it's past it. All you're doing is dropping points. You just click Add Point and then you show whatever you want the point to be. So if I want it to be right there, that's my next point, and it's gonna adjust accordingly. But since we are gonna go out as far as we can, we're gonna go 30 feet out, and then we're gonna sprinkle it out that way. So then when we're all done, we have everything programmed to the outline that we wanted to. All we're gonna do is we're gonna hit save and exit, save and exit and it takes you to your main screen. This is the main screen that you're gonna see. It's gonna tell you a system report. It's gonna say everything looks good or if there's an error. It's also gonna show you how many gallons per week you use or per day. When you click on zones, it has each one of your zones. You can go in there and edit your shape. You can edit, you can do the quick run or you can schedule. So when you're looking at scheduling, you just turn it on, you click into there and you can edit it exactly how you want it to. Right there, I have it going for a half an inch look how precise you can so now you saw the no dig above ground super smart ear green system that i have going on in my back lawn stay tuned we're actually going to be putting this in the ground this this fall but if this is something that you guys are interested in i 100 percent recommend it i'm blown away by um, the ability for this ear green system to work the precision that it is able to put down and the, just the absolute ease of actually running the system in general. When you look at the system, it seems like it's pretty expensive, and it is. When you look at the system online and you price it out, for four heads, it could be around $4,000. I am giving, my code does give you one free head, so it'll take you back down to around $3,000 um, with the install of your cell friend that actually just got a quote for his irrigation system, and it's gonna be over $10,000 to get an irrigation system in his lawn, which is right around the same size of my lawn. So $4,000 versus $10,000, $10,000 you have your traditional irrigation system and then $4,000 and you have a system that you can map out. You can control exactly how much water you want down over your lawn every single time. You're not overwatering things, not watering on your sidewalks. If you guys are in the market for putting an irrigation system in or want to do this above ground style, highly recommend the irrigation system. If you guys have any questions on the system itself, please reach out to me. Bye bye. Reach out to me. Hopefully I can answer your questions for you. If I can't, I'll get you in contact with the person that can from Irrigreen. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching this. Hopefully I gave you guys some inspiration for you. They're creating a, an awesome above ground DIY system or just want to go and jump the gun and get yourself in a full blown irrigation system. But from Rudolongco, I greatly appreciate your watching and I will see you guys in the next one.